having so much trouble with throwing it down. Why won't you come up? <laughs> well, I'll change all your problems. Um, actually, not many people know how to. Well, not uh, beginners don't know how to throw it down. I'm not saying I am an intermediate or something, but not many people know how to get a good spin like that. Um, let's actually tilt this down a little. Okay, good. So when you got that tilt, so you don't really need to see my yo-yo, but it will get a good spin if you throw it the right way. So many people throw it like, they don't even throw it, they just drop it and can't catch it. Um, real people take their wrist and do that, except they it doesn't it. go, it does they, they flick it. Yeah, they flick it. They flick it. Um, they flick it. Um, that is actually the way how to do it. But the thing other people do is when, when they throw it down, this is backwards. So it would be like that, and when you throw it, it would just stay there like this the whole time. So they're like, uh. and then it would just let go like you just dropped it. So what you need to do is make, when you throw it, it you have to test it and basically make it fall off. So your string, you have to test if it would just do that. And then you, because then it will get stuck and then it won't. Because then, because the, yeah, it will get stuck. So you can do it harder and harder each time. Too hard with a responsive yo-yo and it goes black. But I'd recommend if you throw it right and know how to do the bind, which is in another video, you're good. So today, guys, that was how to throw a yo. Yo. Now, I'm perfectly fine. <laughs>